Hey guys, unfortunately it's me again uh, with another video and I think it is time we talk about Unreal Editor for Fortnite. So I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown on what is going to happen. I will display some timestamps now on the screen for you to see which topic is more interesting for you so you don't waste time. This video is basically just aimed for showing you how to get started, how to upload your space and then you can explore on your own and see what kind of cool maps you can build. And as per usual for business inquiries, the details are in the description, like and subscribe and let's go. To start off, you need the Unreal Editor for Fortnite and Fortnite itself. This will run you about like five gigs and Fortnite I think is like 63 gigs. But in any case, you will want to download Unreal Editor for Fortnite, which you can find in the Epic Store. Download it and open it up. First time you open it up, it will take some time, but the next couple of times it will be much quicker. The first thing you see are a couple of things that you can read and use to get yourself familiar with the system. I'm just going to click done. I already have two projects running. We're going to have a look at them later on. You can see what kind of templates you want to start with, or you could dive deeper into these examples, which I would highly recommend because yeah, they're awesome. Again, up here, you can also get into a tutorial menu, sort of. I'm just going to start with simple, call it tutorial project. Unreal Vision Control is important if you're working with a team. I'm not working with a team right now. I could adjust a team that I have, but let's just keep it simple and create your simple project. Okay, if you have never used Unreal Engine before, this might be a little bit daunting to begin with. Let me give you a quick rundown. Here, you can you can drag all of these windows if you want to. You can you can place them wherever you want to. So just customize it how you want it to. You have your outliner, your hierarchy, where you can find everything that is in the scene on your side to quickly access it. This is a floor, generic floor. You have a camera actor, you have a spawner. Those are the spawners, right? Let me click on them. Yes, player spawn, spawn pad. So you can find all of these in, in here. You move by right clicking and holding your right mouse. You can look around. WASD lets you move in your space. And when you scroll, you move faster. And if you scroll back, you move way slower all right another important thing is your content draw down here you can actually dock it in layout so then it opens up like a new window if you if you drag it on this little tab over here you can dock it wherever you want to i usually have it on the side on a second monitor but you can also have it down here which is very very handy make sure to keep a clean folder structure when you're importing but in order to edit whatever you have in here, you can either drag and drop your own 3D geometry into there or Fortnite gives you a vast variety of stuff, like a big library of things you can actually put into your environment. You can click through all of those folders, but the most useful are going to be the devices and the props and maybe prefabs as well. You can also search for stuff. Uh, give it a filter, maybe it is a static a static mesh and then see what kind of uh, a cone for instance, what kind of stuff you can get if you have a ton of cone. I dragged and dropped like the most basic shape in there, go me, uh, but also mountains. This is going to be a little bit bigger, there you go. You can just drag and drop it in, into the scene. Of course that means that you must have an understanding of what is available and for that I would always recommend, you can disable this, just going through the prefabs, maybe castle. Factory, let it load a little bit. You can right click on it to make it load immediately. Go to props and then, I don't know, have some, have the individuals of all of those things on here. If you want to add like a, maybe a little roof to it, click and drag. Select this railing up here, all right, that's not that's not what I wanted. And I think we just leave it at that for the moment. It is just going to be a demonstration, but just to show you in Fortnite props or prefabs, devices is cool as well. There's a lot of a lot of amazing things to look out for. And we're going to have a deep dive in a lot of those in further tutorials, but this is just to get you started, get you into the game as quickly as possible. So I'm gonna save Control S. I want to see how it looks in Fortnite. All right, the music was 
killing me, so I'll just quickly disable it. I'm just, I just opened like default Fortnite. This is what it looks like. And now we can click on launch session. That's all it is. Sometimes it's validating. Uh, and the first, especially the first time you upload it, it might take a while. It will upload everything. It will just tell you whatever is needed. If there's an error code, let me know in the comments. Um, but this step for the first time could actually take a while, depending on what you did and what you already added to the scene. As you can see, if I switch over to Fortnite, it is going to get you uh, this default box. And a little info on top saying, all right, it's already uploading. It's taking its good while. We just wait a couple of seconds uh, until this is finished and check back once it has all been uploaded. Oh, and as you see, it started automatically for me. Um, there's the cone that I placed. There's this beautiful mountain that I placed. And of course the castle with the roof that we have added just a second ago. So there are two modes essentially. There is the gaming mode and then there is the editing mode. If you if you end the game, you're still in your lobby and you can actually you can actually move all of these things around. So there's a separate tutorial coming on how to move and edit all of these because this is vast. Whatever you can do in here, you can do in the editor and vice versa. So it is immensely powerful and not to underestimate. And there are some things that you can only do in here that you cannot even do in the Unreal Engine editor. But for now, we're going to leave it. We know that this is now our, our little island that we have. And let's just pretend we are super happy with all of it. We are well within our means. You see that we have 8% of our... Uh, of of our resources allocated we are good to go and to upload back in our unreal engine editor by the way if your viewport is ever locked you will notice because you cannot move your view viewport at all just move around some of those blocks right here maybe move it up maybe move it away if you move it a couple of times then it will unstuck itself this has been a problem since unreal engine 4.2 whatever so this is just a little, little information. Um, if you make any changes in here, any significant changes, you can push changes, then it will update the game, but it will automatically update the game in real time anyway. If I move the mountain a little bit up here, you will see that within the game, the mountain is already moved as well. If I, if I duplicate this chair and place it here, for instance, there is going to be a separate chair over here. So this is cool if you want to collaborate with different people and just move back and forth. Again, we said that we are super happy with how this is going. So I'm just going to waste any more time and we are going to upload this privately for now. We can publish, I'll show you how to publish it, um, but I don't want to publish it publicly. We open create a portal. This is what we're going to do anyway. So I'm clicking on upload to private version and this is just a tutorial oh i got the caps lock on tutorial island let's go upload again depending yeah yeah, yeah i want to save depending on what you did to the scene this could take a while or could not take a while perfect we are going to copy this is this is the island code right this is the island code so now it is in fortnite your your island is in fortnite i'm going to copy it to a side panel on the side i'm clicking done so it will automatically up it will automatically open the creative portal for you this might not look the same to you as it does to me the reason for this is you have to apply to the island creator and this is the tricky part you have to apply to the island creator program blah 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 and uh, so this window over here is probably visible to you but you cannot publish it why can't why can you not publish it um, because you have to apply and there are eligibility requirements and these are not too shabby right your account has to be over 30 days old and in the last 30 days you must have spent at least seven days in in the editor or you bought bought some v bucks uh, and then you are going to get an extensive background check so i actually had to submit like driver's license passport and, and like all of all of this stuff uh, in order to be eligible for this creator uploading program thingy 
So it took me a while actually to get verified and be able to do what I do right now. Once you are eligible though, and you apply and the background checks are good and everything, uh, you can, I'm not gonna public, I'm not, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna publish this. This is, you, you, you click on publish and then you're good, right? But this is the island code. And just to, just to check that we are not tripping and this is actually working, I'm going to back to the lobby, yes. 8, 5, 8, 9, and 6, 4, 4, 8. Gonna look for it. We're gonna look for it. There it is. It's a private island. It's not public. It's private. Uh, options, private, private, private. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's private, private, private. Cool. And we're gonna play it. Let's go. And this is it. So you see that we are in Fortnite. We are literally in Fortnite. We have released our own little island. And this is the world that we just published a couple of seconds ago. You get like a version number, you get who uploaded it, who you are. Playtest warning, it is not tested yet. So there's some stuff going on in the background, but essentially that's it. Your, your island is now on Fortnite. So as I said, this is a very quick tutorial on how to upload and go about it, right? This is not a deep dive. This is just the process. You see, it's extremely simple. Once you get verified in all of this nonsense, but then you are actually good to go. So there is so much more to explore in here and so much more to do. And to not keep this video too long, if you're curious, here are some links. I'm going to, I don't know if I'm actually going to show anything on screen, but I will definitely link to some of the new videos that I'm going to do uh, and un upload where I will showcase what is actually possible and what you can do. For instance, how you can create worlds like these, right? This is a downtown city in, in, in Austria. So stay tuned. Thank you for tuning in. And obviously I'm going to plug my Patreon, plug my website, plug a like and subscribe and comment, and I'll see you in the next video.